Hello everyone, welcome to the sessions on DBMS. Today we are going to understand and learn about views. What are views? Views are basically certain virtual relations that is when I talk about a view it is also a table where rows are not explicitly stored in the database but are computed as needed from the view definition. That means it is a relation which is not of conceptual model but is made visible to the user as a relation, virtual relation or I can even call it as virtual tables in SQL. I call it as a table because it contains rows and columns. From where do I get these rows and columns? Now I can create a view by selecting columns from one or more existing tables. So this is the vertical division of the tables which will give me a view generated vertically or horizontal division or horizontal participation is also possible where I select the rows based on a condition. Either I can have all the rows from the table or I can put a condition and selected rows can be taken. Say for example, I am trying to create a view from student table where I say that I want only those students whose GPA is greater than 8 then not all the rows are selected. So, this is horizontal division. If at all I say that on, I want only the roll number, name of the student and GPA from the complete student table and this is vertical division. So, views can be created from an existing table. Now, what is the purpose of a view? Basically, view can help us to maintain secrecy, authenticity or otherwise I want only necessary information to be accessed by specific users. So, I can make that uh, necessary information available to the specific user by hiding all the other details underlying in that particular relation. And views can also help us to keep the redundancy minimal while still maintaining the security because I do not want the things in separate separate or otherwise I won't, do not want the things to be repeated but can be actually extracted and generated as and when required and only specific needed informations are only generated. How do we create the views? As we said views can be created from a single table or from multiple table. So, create is going to be a DDL or data definition language. So, it is going to have that word create and the object type. So, we are creating a view. So, it is create view then view name. But how am I creating? So, by selecting few columns and rows from an existing table that is why I will say as select. Specify the column names which you want. Column names from which table? Do you have horizontal partition also? Do you want a specific condition to be followed? Then use this where condition. Let me see the example. See here view name is going to be the user defined name what we want to give. This column names are going to be the columns or the attributes of the base table and here condition is going to be the condition for selecting the rows. So, just look at this create view details view as select name address from student details where student id is less than 4. The first to 4 students roll number and name. I just want name and address of the first to 4 students I want it as a query. Now, when I want to see who are those students I will just say select star from details view. Remember views are always dynamically generated when I query it. So, maybe first time when I have queried say for example, we said where GPA is greater than 8. First time when I queried I had 4 rows selected from that. Maybe after that I have updated the student table I may get 10 rows also. So, the contents of the view are never going to be permanent it is dependent upon the table from which I am accessing that. When I have multiple tables the syntax varies a little bit 
whenever I am writing the column, I should specify from which table that column belongs to which table. The same thing select table 1 dot column 1, table 1 dot column 2, table 2 dot column like this. So, from also will include both the tables. Look at the example, create a marks view as select student details dot name, student details dot address and I get student marks dot marks. From the student marks table, I am taking the marks column. So, both the tables, now what is the condition? The name of the student in both the tables should match or otherwise I can say the roll number of the student in both the tables should match so that I will take the exact information. I do not want name and address of one student and marks of the other student. So, I should ensure that corresponding rows are only selected and this is as usual select star this is querying the table. So, querying the view as well. Now, the next thing is that views how it supports data independence and security. Now, when I speak about data independence, there is physical independence as well as logical independence. Physical independence talks about the independence from the storage structures, whereas logical independence talks about independence from the uh, schema variation. Now, assume that I have changed the schema of a particular database, but for external users, I want to use the older schema. In such situation, views can be of support. Views can give me a way with which I can handle the older table structure or table schema. So, a view can be created uh, with the old schema and I can use this particular thing for the application programs. This is how it can help. What about the security? It is very much valuable in case of security also. Here we can define views that give group of users access to just those information which they are allowed to see. For example, I am talking about employee information. The head of the department of a specific department should have access only to the records which belongs to records of employees who belong to his department. Or otherwise, here when I am taking an example, we are talking about a views from students. So, students should be able to see only their details and not the marks of other students. So, this way views can always help us to restrict the data information that is being delivered. Only the accessible information should be delivered to genuine users or correct users. Now, updates on the views. As we said, views are dependent on tables. Views are selected or created from an existing or one or more existing tables. So, the updatable views can always correlate with the base table. So, if I make new entries into the base table, the view extraction will always take the latest things and deliver it to me. At the same time, if at all I insert anything into the view, that should reflect in the original table as well, provided the views are updatable. Now, what are the rules for the updatable uh, views or what are the conditions that has to be solved? Because not all tables are updatable. First and foremost thing, it should be defined based on only one table. When I have a view created using only one table, then that can update because multiple tables I cannot make an ed entry. So, it is first condition is it should be based on only one table. Second one, the views fields whatever we are using should not be made use of any aggregate functions. When I say aggregate function, there are which we are going to learn in future, there are functions like some uh, maximum, minimum which will be applied as a group for a group of data. So, such functions should not be used in creating the columns of the views. At the same time, we must not have used group by or having this is also again based on a set of data. So, when I have extracted my view or created my view content based on certain set of data, then such views are never updatable. Then if you have used nested queries, 
ok because you take some data information on that you apply another condition and then you have generated your view. Such things are never updatable. Coming to this, the selected output field should not be constants or strings or value expression. It is a necessary condition that it should be a column of an existing table and not uh, calculations like say A plus B or otherwise I just say that uh, date, okay? the fixed value strings or address value I have specified Hyderabad, something like this. Such things should not be the columns of the view. Okay? And if we want to update a view based on another view, then the that view also should be updatable. Now, when I say updatable views, I have certain benefits. I enter a data into the view that is inserted into the table also. Now, it may so happen that I have only selected few columns from the original table. Then, when I enter into the view, I will be entering values only for that columns. What happens in the original table is remaining table value, remaining column values will become null. Now, there is a tricky point. In case if your view does not contain the primary key of the table, assume I have I am considering a view created from student where I have only taken name and address of the student, I did not take the roll number, but roll number is the primary key there. So, if at all I make an insertion into the view, then only name and address will be updated into the student table, but student table has a primary key called as roll number and primary key can never be null, you know that column cannot have null values. So, such insertions will be rejected. So, remember, remember here, okay. If we want to update the view marks view and remove the attribute age from the view, then the query would be okay. create or replace view marks view as select these details where student id and student marks id in both the tables the id is the same. This is about updating or creating or replacing the view. By using the keyword create or replace, I am in a position to update the views. When I say simply create, if the view already exists, it will give you an error saying that the view exists. So, I will not be able to create a new view with the same name. So, instead if I say create or replace, then if the view name already exists, then that will be replaced with the new contents or the new definition. That is the difference, new definition. And coming to this point, attempts to insert rows through a view that does not contain primary key will be rejected as the primary key cannot take null values. So, this is the update based on our views. Okay, when views are created based on selection, the insertions may reflect in the base table, but may not be present in the view. That is for example, when I said that from student table, when I have created the uh, students or uh, extracted the students whose GPA is more than say 8. And I insert a table or I insert a row into the view where GPA is 7.5. Then such an entry will not be reflected in the view, but it will be updated to the base table student because there any GPA is allowed. But this particular view what I said, there was a condition that GPA should be greater than 8. So, this is one more point coming to deleting a view. A view being a database object can be deleted using the drop command. We have the syntax drop view view name. Here there is no problem, view will be directly deleted. Now, sometimes I am deleting the base table. Then when I am deleting the base table, what will be the effect on the views that are associated with that particular base table? Now, here we have two conditions or two ways of handling this issue, I can always drop a table using the keyword cascade or restrict. When I say drop table student cascade, a view which is generated using the student table, say for example, this marks view was generated using the student table will also be dropped. That is any 
other database objects which are associated with this will all be deleted along with it. If I put a condition restrict that is drop table student restrict then it will not drop the student table provided there is any view associated with it that is which are derived out of it. Now this constraint can help us if at all we do not know if there exist any views depending upon this. If you are not sure you can always go with this wherein it prompts you and it tells you that it cannot be deleted. Okay. Well, so this is all regarding views in uh, DBMS which can provide us or which can help us the security aspect which can ensure that only the selected information or valuable what do I say uh, the allowed information is only accessible to the specific user not all the information. So, that filtering can be done using the views. Thank you.